What's going on, Knuckleheads? GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video for you. And today I'm bringing you the Kartofsky node. Right, and this node is basically just an advertisement for gens and Gorewell, right? They give you a free gens and a free Gorewell. And honestly, I like it. It's fun. It's, and it's smart by game law. Hey, try these two Super Whale figures out. Trust us, space is good. You get a little bit of a taste and you're kind of like, wow, I got a whale on Gorewell. Like, hey, 125 gens tiles available in the shop. If I just spend $100, I'm, I'm gonna spend right away. You really get to see how good these figures are. Now, this was another one. I got it first try, gold cuffed, right? It was a super duper easy node. But again, I'm in a pretty good position. Basically, my space is all gear seven, seven star. I think maybe Kelvin's gear six, just because I didn't carry a seven star. But you know, let's let's talk about the node and let's see what the strategy is. Um, wave one, you want to just take out Yuppie as quickly as you can. Save your locust taunt. So there, here's a key when you're using locust in this battle. You don't use this taunt to heal. Don't use this taunt to taunt. You use this taunt to strip their taunt because you're dealing with Winston who's just he's hard to kill right and also there's no point in killing him if you could if you take his taunt away he doesn't even have a point in being alive because he does absolutely nothing otherwise his damage is laughable there is no viable secondary effect right he's just a laughable figure when he's not soaking up damage he's just there to soak up damage uh, so after you take out Yuppie, because obviously you to see a reviver, you kill a reviver, I would go with, against Hot Dog Man because you don't want stacks of time bomb stacking up on you, right? Now, it's hard for me to say, oh, Hot Dog Man threat OP, but you don't want stacks of time bomb stacking up on you. Now you're going to be tempted, right? Ah, I've got some ultimates. I've got Jen's ultimate. I've got Gorwell ultimate. Better pop -up. Oh, my Locust ultimate. Don't pop an ultimate this wave. This wave, it's 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 a warm up. It's a taste tester, right? You still got 19 figures left at this point, go, going into the second wave. It's a it's a long, this is a long haul, right? So Aurora is obviously obviously going to be your next target, and now's not a bad time to pop an ultimate. Now you're probably saying, well, why? Like there, I don't see any existential threats like there's an ash but why pop the ultimate there well it 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 is going to refresh and this wave is gonna take you a little bit of time right you still got to get through an, an aurora you got to get through some poppies so you'll be able to kind of stall and get your ultimate back the only ultimate i would say just save until you need it is gorewell's because gorewell's ultimate could possibly be the best ultimate in the game in terms of like usefulness I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Gorewell's ultimate, best in the game? You tell me. I don't know how to make those decisions. I just uh, make videos. Uh, so now, now we're at a point where there's four figures left and they're all completely, utterly not threatening at all. You're probably just going to take Primo out next, I think, because... I mean, of the four on the field, he's the most dangerous because he offers attack up and speed up. But I wouldn't really use... Uh, much more than just basics. You see, I used the Locust Taunt there. Really was unnecessary. Like, I did that taunt. was like, ah, strip his taunt. And then I was like, why? I'm gonna just kill him anyway. And then I just killed him. So I wouldn't have used Locust's taunt there. That was a mistake on my part. But that's why we do these videos. So you can learn from my mistakes. Because God knows, GKM Gaming makes a lot of mistakes. Right, there we go. Poppy down. And now, hey... You take your time, we're refreshing our ultimates. Now, I haven't used my Locust ultimate yet. Again, it's something that I probably could have used a little earlier like I did with Jens's, but I like to, like Locust's because it has the mass disarm. I had no idea what was coming next either, right? So you're watching me play this in real time. Like, I don't know what's coming wave to wave. So this is my first attempt and my only attempt at this node. So I didn't want Dem Dummy to be taunting, so I tried to put buff immunity on him. I failed at it, but he's the one I really didn't want taunting too much because I felt like I can 
I can down sell. I don't want to deal with his countering. I don't want to deal with hitting him and then like an AoE is going to heal him if I hit a city figure. I figured now is a good time to pop that ultimate to try to disarm the tanks so that they couldn't taunt. I ended up just disarming Demolition Dummy, which, I mean, I guess that's really what I wanted to do in the first place. So, tough choice uh, when you can use Quincy's heal or not. I, I was never really in a bad situation where I really needed to heal to this point in the battle. So, I, a couple of times I used it just for damage. Uh, and little tiny heals, but... You know, you, you could probably get away with doing this without Quincy uh, and doing it with Reed if you really want some extra extra damage. But, I, you know, I love having the heals, and I actually really like Quincy. I think he's a... I think he's like an A or B tier. I think what I put him in A tier. I think Quincy is an A tier figure. I think he's extraordinarily slept on. And in terms of space, he's probably the fourth best space unit. You know, it's probably Jens and Gorwell and then Locust and then Quincy. I think that that's fair to say. Kurtoski's pretty good too. Um, Iggy is literally these Iggy's mine as well. I don't even know what their function is. So they, they, they're just sitting there spreading debuffs, which, I mean, that's cute. I mean, I guess, because now, like, you've got a lot of stacks. You've got, like, five stacks of damage over time on people. So I can see how that would be annoying. And, like, the heal block's a good debuff, but, like, three Iggy's is... There was just nothing threatening about this node. Like, there was a Garmadon. That was it. Like, uh, to this point, I, I saw a Garmadon. It was the only thing I found threatening. Uh, and that was it. Like, there was nothing really... There was no threats. Uh, at least in this point. Now, we're at a point where we still have a whole nother wave coming, so... I'm curious to see... Uh, at this point, I'm curious to see, like, is this going to get harder? Because I felt like this was a cakewalk. Like, they made the Primo node... I think just using City in general, it's always, like, a challenge. Uh, because cities just doesn't hit at all, but I felt like this node was I Mean maybe it just speaks to how high level my space is same thing like it did with my spooky It just spoke to I had a little bit of an advantage on people uh, But I feel like with the city node like I said it was like really high really maxed and I, I wasn't Necessarily breezing through that it took me a few tries to find the right combination of things Granted, once I had the right combination, it only took me one try. It wasn't an RNG-based thing. Um, so, I do think this was... It's one of the least fun nodes that I'm doing a guy on, but I do think some people might struggle with it. So, finally, the final wave comes, and there is a Yuppie. So, you're going to want to kill him first. Fitness Instructor is another big threat, but my kill order for this last wave... I would kill Yuppie, obviously, and then go after Ash. And once Ash is gone, like, what is what threat do you actually have left besides Ash? Right. So I'm just like, ah, it's, you know, we'll we'll kill Yuppie first before we pop the ultimate because the ultimate's very random, and you don't you don't know if you're gonna get Yuppie. But we're definitely gonna be popping that ultimate soon. Now I haven't popped a Gorwell ultimate yet. If you haven't noticed, like, there has really not been much need for big heals. And when they come at you in this last wave, it's like, I still felt like, okay, like, all right, I'm probably gonna pop a Quincy heal here because this is the lowest I've been. I was just trying to figure out who I wanted to hit. So I hit um, Iggy just to get maximum healing, no other reason than that. Then Iggy comes at you with these terrible, terrible um, ultimates, which is just terrible. And now it's time to pop the Jens ult. Uh, and it looks like, we got so close to killing Ash on there, but then, you know, we just hit her with the next attack, and she goes down. Still haven't popped a Gorwell ult, keeping that in mind. And, like, what threats are left? So, after you kill Yuppie and you kill Ash, you can go after Fitness Instructor. There it is. The first Gorwell ult didn't do it till the last wave. You can go after Fitness Instructor because she is a little bit threatening, giving everyone attack up. But the only one who's going to be even the least bit threatening with attack up is going to be Demolition Dummy anyway. So I took out that Iggy just to get rid of him. 
you know, I'm in a position right now where I am not worried at all. I'm in complete control. Kill order means nothing to me. I'm just trying to end this as quickly as possible. But if your team is not as strong or you're not in this position at this point in the game, then definitely Dem Dummy should be number three. He wasn't number three for me, but you know, YOLO, right? Just wanted to. At this, at this point in the battle, I'm just like, okay, can this be over already? This is now a little bit redundant. So I like that we had to use the space tag. I wish it was a little more challenging though, because I don't know, I, they, they gave us city with lighthouse. Like in what world was this going to be a challenge? Like we just faced space with our city team a note ago, and that was challenging. And now they're giving us space to face city with. What, what did you expect, Game Mom? Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, Knuckleheads. Just remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.